today on Make, Shape, Create. We're gonna take these supplies to make this string lamp. Hi everybody, it's Jessica from Make, Shape, Create. Uh, today we're actually gonna be making a string lampshade. So uh, let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take wax paper and I'm using this uh, glass dome for the shape of the lampshade. It's gonna go around this LED light when it's finished. So let's go ahead and put this on. Wrap it around. Just try to get it as straight as possible because make it easier. Of course I should have the tape ready, but that's okay. So there we go. That's the first step. So we're gonna set this aside for right now. Uh, the next step is I'm gonna actually do the same technique we do for the sea glass, but I'm going to use it to coat this twine. Now granted it's green, but I want it to be blue. So we're gonna see if this is gonna work. Um, but I wanted to get the glue on it so it sticks to this wax paper and makes the shape we need. So let's see what happens. Let's kind of get started on that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a empty Solo cup and I'm gonna go ahead and take the twine. I'm gonna unravel as much as I think I'm gonna need. I'll just take out more than what I'm really gonna need. And then I'm gonna put that in the cup. And then I'm gonna start adding the water and the glue and the food coloring. So let's see how this works. Let's get started. So I got the glue and dye and everything all over it. It's not gonna be this shade probably once it's done. Now I'm trying to find the end because I didn't think about that part. <laughs> oh, there it is. You find it? Okay. Right here. So there's the end. Ew. So you need this back, right? Just so you know, guys, this is messy. All right, so now that I have that. Let's try to help. I'm actually gonna start at the top. I'm gonna slide this one out of the way a little bit though because I want to film and knock this stuff over. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top and just, and I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm just gonna go right there. This is very, very messy. There we go, now it's gonna hold itself in place. So now that it's held itself in place, She's a little freer to go wherever she needs to. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna go down a little bit. And right now I'm just trying to start in the base of it to kind of give me an idea. God, this is so bad. <laughs> So right now, this is messy. Wait, no, wait. not at all. <laughs> oh boy, it's knotted. Shouldn't have done it that way, but that's okay. Kids, if you try this at home, make sure you have a mat or something covering your table because your parents will be mad at you. Yeah, they will. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's because after I started it, knotted up. No biggie. I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna try to pull it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, guys, well, I think we're gonna go into high speed while she yeah, does this. Yeah, this is gonna take a minute.
right, so I'm trying to get more down around the base of this. That way, because that's going to be what's holding it up. The rest of it will kind of just stay. So I'm going to get further down now. The heavier it is at the bottom, the better. Yeah. So, so I'm surprised it's got like a lot. Look, guys, the Smurfs back. Yeah. <laughs> Feel my fingers drying. <laughs> Good thing is it's school glue and it'll come right off. Yeah. You could probably peel it off. Look at that fun. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So she's trying to close up all the gaps. Um but. because believe it or not, this is our second attempt at this, and she's doing a way better job than I did. See, that was the first attempt, and it was just spray paint and glue, and it didn't work. It just collapses. So, yeah. Oh, come apart. <laughs> getting knotted again. It's a big blue hairball. Yeah. It's getting knotted again. I knew it was going to knot, but I didn't think it was going to knot this bad. But that's okay. I'll make it work. Believe it or not, I ever used to work at a jewelry store, and this is what I did. I used to take knots out of chains a lot. Hey, honey, try not to be so blue. Yeah. <laughs> Dead joke. <laughs> all right, so now that we got this, all the twine on here, I'm actually going to take some of this excess because I still got some left in both of these cups and on the table apparently, uh, and my hands. So I'm gonna try to kind of coat this a little better because you can see some spots, like the the glue's coming off. And I wanna make sure it holds. I know some of these places are a little bit more bunched, but unfortunately the twine decided it wanted to slide a lot, so. And she can also kind of shape it a little bit while she's doing this. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use my hands because they're already dirty. You also think of this as a, a glamour coat when you're doing uh, pottery. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Glamour coat? I don't know. Something like that. I don't do pottery. I think it's called a glamour coat. And I can kind of, like, if I need to, I can slide stuff. And... Yeah. Oop, there you go. Like, right here. There's this nice... See, some of the spaces, you gotta make sure you pull this tight. I noticed in some spots I didn't, and it's a little loose. So it's. Hopefully but hopefully, it'll once it, it yeah, once it tries, it'll be all right. Get off my hand. Sorry, it was a little bug. It flew at me. It was a mosquito or something. Ugh. Here too. I'm going to. Just I'm letting you know. Just working my way around, honey. Just letting you know. Appreciate it. Just getting this on here. And then it's going to be letting it dry, which is, I am assuming it's going to take a while. Yeah. I, I, I think it's definitely going to be a, a at least an overnight thing. Yeah. It might be a, a over the next week thing. I want to sit outside tomorrow in the heat. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> of course, then we'll get all the bugs. All right. Yeah, we have woods behind our apartment, so we get a lot of bugs. Some really big bugs. <laughs> I think you might want the ones at the bottom. You might mm -hmm. want to slide some of them down a little bit. No, I think they're fine where they are. Well, because they're not even. That's, that's or cool. up or down or whatever. Just so it's flat on the bottom. Is that better? Yes. Tall. So what do you think? Good with that for right now or yep. do you want to put more on? No, I think I'm good for now. It's going to be a little green, but that's okay. Well, we don't know because remember the, the white of that is going to go away. Talk about the twine is going to be green. 
colors. Right, right. But I meant the white of the blue okay. is going to go away. So you're going to go on the blue. I know. So we don't know. All right. This is it for today. Let's let this uh, dry and let me go clean up because... The Smurf's going away. <laughs> I am covered. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Now that we have let this dry for days because we got in other projects, um, we just got to take this um, twine off the wax paper. And sorry, I'm doing this out here. Like I said, we have ongoing projects in the office, so uh, we need another space. So let's go ahead and get the twine off of this. It's going to be a little difficult because it is pretty dry to it. So let's see what happens. So I cut the time lapse because I needed to think. <laughs> um, I got it off. It's a lot of forcing. And maybe for future reference, don't do this on glass because I almost broke the glass a couple times. Uh, future reference, maybe do this on something plastic or a, a balloon or something. Something you can pop um, or squeeze because the glass was very hard. Now, if you see, I just got a lot of wax paper still on the inside. I gotta get this out, so I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this out now. And uh, hopefully it'll be done soon. Okay, everyone that's how we make the string lampshade um, again like I suggested earlier in the video I'd use something that you can pop or bend or something because I almost broke that glass dome a couple times because I got frustrated so I couldn't get it off because you couldn't see that in the video um, but I got frustrated I <laughs> uh, just wanted to let you know um, so anyway if you'd like to follow us on social media you can follow us at, at make shade create on Facebook Instagram and Twitter also, if you'd like to contribute to our, pa our Patreon page, you can check us out at Patreon backslash Make Shape Create. And uh, again, thank you to all our Patreon supporters. And if you have anything you'd like to see in the future, just go ahead and hit it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the little bell. And again, we'll see you next week. Have a great day, guys. Bye.